Today's video is, is about a subject that's been driving me potty. <laughs> potty, you like the pun? Um, yeah, it's been driving me potty. We have a sticky flap on our toilet, so when we come to open it, it doesn't want to open, and I can manage to get it open, but Riley and Lisa struggle with it. So today we're going to do a bit of maintenance on the toilet. Um, it's not a big thing. It's not a big jobby. You like them? <laughs> Um, yeah, it's not a big job. It's a bit of kit though, again, that we probably don't maintain, probably don't look after until it goes wrong. So again, hopefully by doing these little bits of maintenance, it won't go wrong and it'll last you a lifetime of poop. Does that make sense? Anyway, this is what we do. The problem we've got is this lever is really stiff. Right, I can barely open it. How do I expect anybody else to get that open? So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to do something with it. But I don't know what. And the other problem is, I struggle to get the cassette out. So that sticky seal even makes taking this cassette out a hard job as well. <laughs> I think it's because all this lot here gets stuck. So we're going to clean this up. We're going to sort all these out as well. See there how stiff that is to pull. So I think we can sort this out ourselves today. No bother at all. Firstly, we're going to clean the seal, get rid of any unwanted unpleasantries down there. Just keep that nice and... I have washed all this previously. So... Going straight in the bin. So just quickly looking at it, you can see grease there and there. I think we need to grease this seal and these runners, and I think this will be back into full working order after that. So we bought silicon grease lubricant, it's multi purpose, and uh, it's on Amazon. So what I'll do is I'll get you a link to that, I'll put it in the description, and uh, we're going to give this a whirl. Pretty clear, pretty straight. Hmm. Just feels a little bit like uh, Vaseline. So we'll start applying this and uh, go from there. What I'm going to do is try and work it under that seal, under that edge. I'll do both sides here. We'll work it right under. Try and fill up that channel here. Yeah? Don't know what this is going to behave like, but. Ah, right. So, I think it's catching on the bottom seal here as well. So, what we're going to do. I'm going to put a little bit around that rim as well. <coughs> Let's put a little bit around this, this edge as well. If this wasn't clean, I would be wearing gloves. <laughs> but I give this a real good wash and uh, a bit of a dry off and hopefully it's been enough to let us do this job I'll wash my hands straight after it as well by the way I'm going to put a little, little bit of grease on the bottom side of there 
that'll just help this one move. into position and seals that while they're transporting it so just as important as all the others but this one's bib and brace when that's locked across when this handle slid into place that seals it from the bottom side and this will seal it from the top so this is the one the one we need to get really moving now let's just uh, brace that up properly make sure everything's covered right. let's give it a whirl That seems to work. I'm hoping that's it, anyway. Well, it seems to be working. That I was doing that one-handed there, so I'm quite confident that it is working. Um, we, may not, we may need to spread a little bit more grease on the actual lid. We'll have a look at that in a minute. But, uh, yeah, it seems to be better with a little bit of maintenance, a little bit of grease <laughs> anyway. So hopefully that's not going to be a problem in the future now. Well that's a cassette back in, let's trade. Pleasant view isn't it? Uh, it's still stiff. like there's something out of line doesn't it you know look I don't know if you can see that but the rubber seems to be sitting further over it's like the set's not gone all the way in yeah maybe that's the issue right, I'm gonna have to have a look at this see if we need to have a little job done on this toilet because that does look to be out of square I don't know if you can see this seal here it's that should be further over and there's a bit of a, an underlap there See if you can see that. Let's see if we can get the light on. There's an underlap that side, and an overlap that side. Let's see if we can fix this. That come out really easy then, so we've improved that. That's for sure. Let's just stick it down there over there. So I can't see any issues in there with what's going on. That seal needs a bit of a clean, so we'll do that now. But everything in there looks to be as it should be. It's a strange one, this. It really is. It really is. But that cassette should definitely be sitting further forward than it is. Can't see anything obstructing it. But let's give that seal a clean anyway. Right, that's that cleaned up. We've actually put a little bit of grease on there and the two runners to each side there and there. We've greased them up as well. Can't see any reason for this not to be working. Well, not going all the way back in. Anyway, let's let's uh, give it another try. Hopefully this is it. Is no bother. Just hoping it all lines up now. No, it's still the same, but I don't know. I really don't know. Let's see if we can push it in a little bit further. That's it. It, <laughs> it won't go in any further, so that must be where it sits. Anyway, it's working a little bit easier. We solve one issue, we may be creating another that doesn't exist. That's so stiff though. Just keep working it. Yeah, it's getting easier. Right, we'll stick with it. Hopefully it'll get better as the, uh, as the grease penetrates the seal. It's fixed. It works. No other at all. There's a little catch there. Hang on, let me just lift that up. Let me step back a bit. 
so you can see me. So there's a little catch there. We operate that catch. So and then I can open it with one finger, something we never used to be able to do. So this is now back as it should be, and uh, it's it's a godsend to be honest. Because what was happening was in the middle of the night, if anybody wanted to the toilet and they couldn't open this vent, basically we all had to get up and we had to sort it out. And it was usually me that had to sort it out. So now it's fixed. Um, we're just going to keep on top of it. I think what's happened is. The grease has finally worked itself into all the places where it needs to be. We've done nothing different. We clean it out the exact same way. And uh, I don't know. It's just fixed itself. But I think that maintenance has ha actually helped us. So everything's moving as it should be. It still doesn't locate all the way back. Um, I don't know if it ever did. If, it, if yours sits at a funny angle, you know, as you look down the hole, the rubber seal seemed to be off. If yours sits like that, just let me know in the comments because I, for me, I would have expected that to sit all the way in it to have a nice flush seal. But the seal isn't on here. The seal is on the toilet. So it's making a seal. It's not leaking. Anyway, I'm stood here with this right beside my face. This smells lovely. And I'll tell you why. Andrew and Barbara, many, many moons ago, gives a little tip. And uh, I'll put a link to their channel up here. They use fabric conditioner in their toilet. When when they set it all up and put the cleaning products in, they drop a little bit of fabric conditioner in there, and it does the trick. So they use like um, it's it's a like an Hawaiian smelling one from Lidl or Aldi. Can't remember where we got it from, but anyway, a little drop of that makes these things smell lovely. Anyway, I know it's been a bit of a weird subject this time. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, we'll probably do maintenance on this again in six months time keep it tip top so we don't end up in the position we were in before yeah job done <laughs> jobby done <laughs> anyway till next time we'll see you again thanks for watching look at that no bother absolutely no bother whatsoever thank you for your continued support if you like what we're doing consider subscribing liking and sharing with your friends also you can follow us on facebook and instagram thanks for watching and until next time take care